Hello everyone, welcome back to Bee's Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B. Today we'll be looking at the one and only G.I. Joe Classified series, Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter is going to be number 53 in the G.I. Joe Classified line. He's going to be the second deluxe single figure release after Kamakura. Um, I believe he's a fan channel exclusive. And uh, we'll dive in here. So, you get Sergeant Slaughter in the, the plastic free packaging. Couple different variations of art. Looks like the uh, Sunbow cartoon style, comic style. You get the uh, classified artwork. I would assume classified artwork. Get some nice artwork on the side here. It's got the uh, Sky Strikers and the Aviators. Got the brown round campaign hat with the uh, Sergeant First Class rank on it. In the back, you got all the accessories. Size scale, he's uh, six and three quarters inches, huh? You got his, classif his uh, classified style file card, leadership, hand to hand, strength, intel. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of the thing. I, I look forward to them trying to figure out that uh, that scan and go kind of file card system they they've been mentioning in the past. Hopefully they get that figured out and they they work with that. So let's dive into the figure here. So here he is. He looks mean. He looks young. I like it. He's got the uh, heavy artillery roadblock torso. Cause you can tell by those crazy traps with the uh, the butterfly joints there. Oh, my stiff. Um, everything on him is pretty good, minus his feet. His feet feel really loose, but. We got some new pinless legs we haven't seen yet in the line that I can tell. And uh, some new boots. It looks good. It's got the belt piece. Well, it's not a belt piece. It's actually molded into the waist. It actually looks pretty good. Great paint apps we'll get the, on, the, on those belt loops. I'm glad that's not a separate piece because that thing would be like all the way up here. It'd be, it'd be all over the place. Compare him here to uh, Heavy Artillery Roadblock, since they're the same. Heavy Artillery Roadblock still has uh, a little bit of height on him, but not too much. But again, different legs, new legs. And we get uh, fists. Uh, besides Cobra Commander, this is the first uh, first set of fists we got. So first bearskin fists. There he is. I was if I can get him to stand for you, like I said, his uh Then we got the new Walmart exclusive retro card art gung ho with his uh his eight point on. And if we take the eight point off. It's about the about the same maybe. And we got Classified Series Tiger Force Duke, who is short compared to him. I don't remember how tall he was in the comics, or comics, um, cartoon, to be honest. But um, moving forward with Sergeant Slaughter, I'm not a uh, a huge, huge Slaughter fan, just because he's uh, like Superman. You know, he can't get... He, I mean, he gets captured, he gets beat up, sure, but he always, like, always escapes. I mean, I, the hero always does, I got it. But he's, like, unstoppable, in a sense, and just, that never really sat well with me. Here's the Valiverse V2, Sergeant Slaughter. Um, definitely a, uh, a height difference there. Um, Sergeant Slaughter is basically a bunch of rehash of the Series 1 figures. I think it's, like, the Carrick body, a new head, and stuff. But uh, he's definitely uh, classified. Definitely takes the cake here. Let's get into these accessories. He comes with this weapons book crate, like the new the new standard GI Joe Blue, number fifty three, little code on it, all that stuff. We get a whistle because he's the uh, the drill instructor for the Joe team. He gets his uh, swagger stick or crop. 
whoop everyone into shape. Comes with a little action figure of himself. I think they said this is like an homage to like a promo or a cartoon from back at promo or commercial back in the day. Um, it's very collector friendly. Slides out. You pull the figure out. He's got his uh, campaign hat with the set Serving First Class rank on it. He's got his aviator glasses. Um, I heard a lot of people's got smudged up in the uh, in the cardboard. Mine appear to be pretty good. He's got uh, the Cobra Officer AK. The only difference is that the pistol grip is brown compared to the black pistol grip we saw with the officer's release. Then with that we get one magazine. If I can get it in. And then the uh, the PIC-15 laser flashlight. It goes into the barrel area. There it goes. It's got the port for the blast effects like we've uh, been seeing with a lot of the modern newer weapons. And then uh, let's get into the, uh, the exciting part. We got some extra hands. So we get two pistol grip hands. Well, I guess trigger hands, gripping hands. We get two uh, wrestling grabbing hands. Um, I wish that Mindbender would have came with a pair of these in all black. Maybe the next Cobra Commander will, so they can laugh maniacally. And uh, two pointer finger hands. And then mine came with the fists already on him. Um, hands are definitely something that add a lot to play value, pose value, all that stuff. I hope we see more hands. However, I don't think that a... Uh, a $9 price hike is justified for a couple extra hands. Um, but there he is with everything on. I'm uh, I'm not a fan of glasses in the Classified series. Um, Profit Director Destro's glasses are a pain. Um, Cobra Island Roadblocks, I actually used a, a dab of school glue to get them to stay on. Baroness is pretty good, but they've like she's those those cuts in her head. I think that um, I would have I don't want to say I would have rather had them molded on because I think that would have looked goofy. But maybe we could have explored that option. Same with the hat. I mean he he does lose his hat in the cartoon a few times, but otherwise it's it's always on his head. I mean this is the look of Sergeant Slaughter. I, I, everything coming off is meh to me. Um, same with we could have used the pistol or even one of those. Uh, those drop leg panels like Beachhead with the magazines, um, Gung Ho with the grenades, uh, Cobra Island Roadblock with the uh, the two hundred three grenades, just just something to to add a little more zing to the otherwise bland character. Um, other than that, he looks pretty great. Um, he's definitely a uh, much needed. I was I'm, I can't wait to get him next to Serpentor. I'm surprised they haven't done any promo images with the two of them like that already. But um, yeah. That's Sergeant Slaughter. Um, I wasn't hoping to have this video up uh, on Wednesday, but for some reason FedEx decided to keep him captive for three days in Minnesota. And then he finally finally broke free and, and made it out to uh, Western Pennsylvania. But there you have it. Let me know what you think. Are you picking him up? Are you skipping on him? Do you think he's a must-have? Um, the AK does seem out of place. I don't know. We could have gotten the Crimson Guard M16. Uh, but I guess since that's being in production with the current Crimson Guards and then the uh, the Walmart Retro Crimson Guards that maybe not, then um, I don't think that the $9 price hike was worth it for this a little mini action figure. I mean, it's a fun little nod to the past, but same with the hands. Um, we could definitely use some, some hands in the future, but I don't think that they're $9 worth of hands. Um, but there you have it. There's Sergeant Slaughter. Let me know what you think. Are you picking them up? Are you skipping on them? Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at, at these Battlegrounds. Like, comment, subscribe to this for more G.I. Joe videos. And uh, maybe we'll start dabbing into some other lines. Till next time, I'm Bobby B. from Bees Battlegrounds. Hail Cobra.